In this SeedProd WordPress website builder tutorial, you will learn how to place buttons side by side with two separate methods. The first method will use basic columns and alignment options. The second will allow for much greater advanced positioning with the built-in column controls. Let's dive right into the video and I'll show you how to take advantage of either method to improve your next WordPress website layout. If you are new to SeedProd, please subscribe to the channel and visit the SeedProd website with the link in the description below. So I already have SeedProd installed with WordPress and I'm just under the landing page section. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page just to test with. And for this example, we can just select any of these. I'll pick this one here. It's in maintenance mode. And we'll just go with buttons as a page name and we'll save and start editing the page. Now here we have a button section here. We can just get rid of this because we'll be creating new ones. So there's two different main ways that we can create button layouts. And the first one is by using rows and columns. So here we have a plus sign with the row. Let's add a row. Now, if you wanted to put two buttons side by side, you could simply use two columns and then use the alignment options. So let's look for a button and we'll put one in here and we can align this to the right. And then we can put a second button on the right hand side and we can just simply align this to the left. Now, if we save and preview this, you can see that we have two buttons side by side. Now there's a little bit of spacing in here. So if you select the button and come under advanced, and we'll go into the spacing section. We have some padding here, so we can just put zeros for that. And we can do the same for the other one. To save a little bit of time, we can just duplicate this one and drag it over. And we'll just align this one to the left. Now, if you want them even closer so there's no space, we have the row, which is this whole section, but we also have the columns here. So this is the left side column. And then you'll see the little cog wheel for the right side column. If I select one of these, we actually have separate options for each column as well. If we come under advanced spacing, we have padding here for zero, and we can do the same one for this side. Spacing, we'll put that to zero. So now there's no spacing at all in between here. Now, obviously you probably don't want that, but now you have full control over how much space is between them. So if I select this button, the block, and go under advanced, again, under the spacing, we can uncheck this and we can just affect the right side. So if I put five pixels, you can see there's five pixels on the right side of this button now. Now you can do the same thing with more buttons. So say you want three or four or even five. So let's do three quickly. Again, you would just put a button in here. And again, you would just click on it, align it to the right. And then we could put a button in the middle. And we could put a button on the right side here as well. So we could align this one to the left. Now to get them closer together, you could just simply resize the columns and bring this in and try to get it as centered as possible. And then of course you would just remove the spacing in between each block and column. Let me show you a even better way, a more advanced way to control the actual positioning of your buttons. So let's go ahead and start a new row, but we actually want one. And this is a simple way to do it. Let's put one button inside of this row and let's just duplicate this say two times. And now if we actually select the column, not the row, but the actual column settings here, we can come to the bottom, we have content alignment. Now you have the simple controls here. We don't want that, we actually want advanced. And we can come down here, and right now the flex direction is set to column. Now that's up and down vertically here, but we can actually go ahead and select row here, and we have justify content, which is set to default. Let's change this to say, for example, flex start, and you can see they're put on the same line, as well as center, and you can do flex end. So here we have the start, center, and end. And then we also have space between. So this will put an even space between here. And we also have space around. So there's an even amount of space on each side. And we have space evenly. So they're perfectly aligned within their container. And the great thing about this is if you added more buttons, it just perfectly makes the same amount of space in between here. So if I select this and select a different option for the justify content, let's say we want them all at the start. It'll just perfectly align them here side by side or centered or at the end, and of course the spacing as well. Now, if you're wondering what align items is, that's for the column. So just keep in mind to control the row, you use justify content. If you wanna control the layout for columns, you use the align items. So right now this is the default. But if we put this to the start, you'll see that be moved to the left-hand side, the end to the right. So there you go, that's how you can take control of your button layouts. So if you want two side by side or three, I would highly recommend that you use the positioning on the columns. Now that you know how to position buttons side by side in SeedProd, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a Spotify website clone for beginners. By the end of these videos, you will be well on your way to creating incredible WordPress websites. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.